Hey, what's up guys? This is Trail Confessions, episode two. I'm uh, on my descent, heading, uh, I don't know where the hell I'm headed. <laughs> Down some big ass hill. Um, yesterday I had hit my uh, 100th mile on the PCT and man was it a freaking struggle you know i um yesterday i hit a bunch of prs actually um longest mile uh, or longest day i should say with uh the miles i hit uh, i was like 18.1 no it's not a lot um uh, but i'm working up to 20s which i should hit today and there i'm moving forward uh, unless something happens up with the trail, but uh, so hit hit 100 miles on the PCT, so that was uh, pretty cool. Did my handstand, and I accidentally left my freaking sunglasses on the uh, side of the hill, which sucks because they were my sunglasses. They were the only ones I had. <laughs> so. I left a note in gut hook uh, for somebody to grab them and maybe meet up in Sky Comish. So, uh, but I don't know if it was just an accumulation of everything on the trail thus far. You know, I kicked off in the woods here on on the sixth of June and tagged the border on the eleventh. So. You know, prior to the 11th, I was on Robinson Creek in Old Boundary, jumping over down trees. <laughs> so uh, my body's been definitely taking a toll, and I don't know if that's pretty common in the first, you know, 100, 150 miles for your body really start to break, uh, break down. But uh, I've never had knee issues, uh, minus one time in Peru. <laughs> we climbed up a mile and down a mile in descent and uh by the end i was that left knee was just man did it hurt um, but it went away towards the end of the trip so i'm hoping that's what's going on here is uh just some tightness um so yeah longest freaking day of hours of hiking um longest miles and I hit my 100, 100 mile mark on the PCT so um, only one day I know I'm gonna be breaking more records as I move forward but uh, still nothing to, to celebrate I still have 2500 more miles to go and change so uh, got to keep my my eye on the prize which is Campo and uh, one foot in front of the other keep moving forward but uh yesterday man i was dealing with just a ton of emotional and just stuff you know i feel like feel like my my baggage everybody's got it but you know all my baggage from the past just opened up and spilled out on the fucking trail and really made me think about you know my previous relationships and you know things I should have done and should have should have changed and things I shouldn't have done but uh, you know it was a tough day I was pretty emotional on the trail and you know the trail really helps you work through whatever you're going through and uh, you know if it's getting over an ex or um, you know just trauma whatever it is it comes out in different different forms and uh, I think that's what's happening with my body is my body's just ridding ridding itself of some of that previous trauma 
and resentment and sadness. Just some of those bad, I shouldn't say bad feelings, just uh, feelings that, um, you know, maybe I've been putting aside for, for a long time and uh, just putting off dealing with because, you know, when you're owning a business and trying to motivate people on a daily basis, you harbor a lot of shit. You just got to suck it up and put a smile on your face. And being an entrepreneur is a, a very, it's a very lonely road. It's, uh, you know, there's not a lot of people you can talk to who really understand what you're going through and what it's like uh, be, just because, you know, they, a lot of people don't understand. And so, so yeah, just wanted to confess about my day yesterday and let you know it was tough both physically emotionally and every elite across the board <laughs> but uh I made through it did it I was I was hurting by the end of the day big time and even though you know it felt good to get that hundred 100 miles it felt even better to eat that meal at the end of the day <laughs> and crash on my pad um, but uh, I'm very thankful for my time out here and thankful for the trail and for the trail helping me work through cleaning out my my baggage and put back in those memories that uh, I want to hold on to and let go of the stuff that I don't need to be holding on to anymore. So, so I'm thankful for that. And, you know, being out here by yourself, you know, I did, I did join a group, a group of three, which is... Um, a husband and a wife, and uh, another guy from South Africa, which is super cool. Um, they are, they are in it. <laughs> they are nobo sobos, meaning they originally headed northbound and flipped, and are now heading south, uh, just because of some of the the issues on the trail. But uh, they, man, they got their shit dialed in big time. I feel like an amateur compared to them. And, you know, it's just the stuff that you kind of figure out on the trail that I get, you know, it's, they have their, their rituals, their routines, their, they got their timing, they got everything just dialed in. And through hiking is, it's a way different sport. It's a completely different ball game than just going on a day hike. You gotta have, everything dialed in so meticulously thought out and precise um, down to the, the ounce of weight and the second of process and that's still something I'm trying to figure out and uh, it's a challenge it really is because I want to I'm a very <laughs> like process driven person so um, efficiency is important to me and when I'm not running at 100% it makes me feel inferior and it is a motivator that's for sure but um, I still don't feel like I'm on their level yet which I want to be I mean they're almost to their thousand mile and I just passed, just passed my hundred and uh that's that's pretty awesome. That's a really awesome accomplishment. I mean, they just freaking get up and go. <laughs> and I want I want that so bad because I'm just I feel so sluggish. Getting my shit together, packing my pack, making my meals, just everything is just I just feel weighted. 
wet. This shit's challenging. And I need to dial it in. And I'm working on it. I'll figure it out. But um, I'm really, really looking forward to this uh, Sky Comish zero day. A lot of people don't take take very many zero days, but I don't know. <laughs> I definitely appreciate it. I need my body to recover, that's for sure. Um, and during those zero days, you know, it's not just like you're laying on your ass and not doing nothing. I mean, that does happen, but, um, you know, you replenish some of those, those needs for food, pizza, beer. <laughs> it's pretty much what people usually get. French fries, salty. I mean, it's crazy how much stuff you crave out here just because you're going through so much. And bars only give you so much. They only do so much for you. But it's salt out here that really is like big time craving just because you're sweating and just going through so much on the trail. Your body is just craving, craving salt big time. So, um, yeah, I'm literally like pouring salt. Like nothing, everything tastes bland. <laughs> you know, it's like, can't have enough salt. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I know this video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it and get back to my reality show in my head. <laughs> A PCT monomyth. And uh, yeah, till next time, this is Trail Confessions. <laughs> See ya.